Hello there. What's going on guys, super quick video for you here. In a recent interview with Ryan Johnson on Collider, he was asked if he'd be directing the new Obi-Wan movie, which you guys know I'm crazy about and I'm sure everyone else is. This is what he had to say about it. No, right now I'm just focused on the new trilogy. Isn't that enough? God, man, I'd love to see that movie. So what do you guys think about him not wanting any part in the Obi-Wan film? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? I know what a lot of the reactions are gonna be, but I always love asking you because there is a big division. That said, there are talks of Stephen Daldry to direct the film, which I seriously hope will be done right. If there's a set of movies that I really care about, it's definitely these spin-off films that touch on the prequels and the original timelines. With the Solo movie coming out in just a few months, there could be tons of new pieces that they could link to the Obi-Wan film, as it all happens much before A New Hope and leading into it. Kind of like how Rogue One connected how the Empire was researching hyperspace tracking, whereas in The Last Jedi, we see Snoke has finally accomplished that technology. In the Obi-Wan film, what I really want to see is something more dark and real. We know Obi-Wan will be watching over Luke, and from the comics, he'll probably get into a lot of fights. However, I want to see Obi-Wan's post-traumatic stress after his fight with Anakin and Order 66. He did age immensely on the planet, and I think there's a reason that they could tie that in there without just saying, oh, you know, it's different actors. I want to see him have nightmares of Anakin coming to him in his dreams, tormenting him, haunting him, and Qui-Gon reaching out to him as a Force ghost, just as he did in this canon video that I made a few weeks ago. I mean, the possibilities are endless, and with the video I made a few days ago about George Lucas having been in Ireland before Christmas, we now know that he has at least something to do with Star Wars, and I know a lot of people are saying that it was for the Obi-Wan film, but I think it was for the other series of movies that they're making with the Game of Thrones writers. But who knows, we might get Yoda in the film, we could get Qui-Gon, we could get so many other characters that take place around that time as well. There are tons of things that we could expect for this film, but I want to know, what do you want to see the most from this movie, more than anything? Disney does change its directors around a lot, so who knows who will be the next guy or girl to take on this job, but now we know for sure that Ryan Johnson won't be part of it. He's too busy with his new trilogy. So write down in the comments who or what you want to see the most, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Thanks for watching this quick video, everyone. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.